So this is a Q gamma. Alright, I should have used binary numbers. But yeah, it would have been hard to, to remember. I have a hard time remembering just the Greek alphabet, so that's fine. Next turn. Lyra, there's nothing we're aware of at this point. I guess we're going to come over here. Applied Casimir effect is done, so we get less happiness penalty for colonizing. And we've got the total hull integrity, so we can go through wormholes. It's not terribly important, but it's there. So I did get that core mining, not that I can really exploit it yet. I think what we might want to do is unlock some new planet types. Actually, in, on Mizar, here's what we want to do. Um, actually, we've got quite a few asteroid things that we'd like to do. I think asteroid comes later. Baron might be a little earlier. If we can snag Mizar, that would make me feel good. So that's going to be the arid. That's desert. Desert. Lava. Yes. There we go. There's Baron. Better Tundra. Better Arctic. I'm like I always assumed that the um, the asteroid must come later. Ah, colonize asteroid. Which comes there we go. Containment field gives you barren, and then asteroids. That's 14 turns. At this point, we can get some of the lower level techs much, much, much faster. Like one point, one turn gets us aired at this point. I don't know if there's carryover, so you know what? I'm going to grab this at this point, just in case. There's desert here, too. Okay, let's... We're going to grab the arid. How much of a priority do we want to make desert? We've got some desert planets, don't we? Yeah, here. Well... Well, well, I don't know. The Call of Distance Constellations. You have discovered the technology required to safely traverse the wormholes that link constellations. Which brave captain will discover what lies beyond, and what riches or horrors await them? Yeah, well, they're in a really awkward position. We're definitely going to scout out the closer star systems to see what's up there. We might discover some more wormholes there, although... It's kind of going in the wrong direction to link up with the rest of the spiral arm, so maybe not. Maybe the maps I was playing had more spirals, and that's what was going on. Galsif 2 is good. I'm not going to say it's better than Master of Orion. And a lot has to come down with, I like the Master of Orion, um, Civ construction, Civ setup stuff. All right, we're gonna we're gonna pick up the containment fields. Also unlocks a lot of jewelry type technologies. Now we don't know where any of those are, except maybe that one. Yeah, actually, Xanados would be a nice system to pick up. Everyone's building something, so that's good. All right. No, it's not live on YouTube, although I will record it. It's being recorded for YouTube for later. Uh, that is a really crappy star system. Holy cow. I guess it turns out it's got, like, something later. It is huge. I guess that counts for something, but not much. All right, so we have completed our one ship. It's currently in orbit around Q Prime, which I think is fine. I'm just going to leave it there for now. Um, oh, I should have rush bought this thing a while ago. Yeah, it only needs one turn anyway. Well, hopefully we'll remember for Planet Gamma, or System Gamma. We've got Red Sang over here. Okay, good. Finish that. 
going for that. That sounds fine. Oops. Lots of gems over here, actually, which we can all exploit. This would be a really good system for us. I mean, lava and hydrogen kind of sucks, but we'll get there later. These are small. Kessler syndrome, which sucks. Polar tempest, which also sucks. And this one doesn't have any resources, actually. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I'm just chasing this AI ship. At some point, he's going to turn around and shoot at me. I have to say, this is a pretty good game. Open borders, yes. I'm okay with that. Let's be friends. Let's be friends with the pilgrims up until it's time to destroy them. We're just gonna try to out-expand them. They only have... Well, they only have two systems right now, but they've colonized the planets on both. And they have a lot of resources in their systems. Like, Q-Prime kind of bites. Although, again, it may be because we haven't discovered anything because we haven't colonized there yet. Q-Beta. We can colonize... Oh, we're not building anything here. Uh, we'll probably pick this up. Do we have the right technology for that? I don't think so. Xenology. Oh, well, we can pick it up pretty fast. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and research that now and then go back to the containment fields just to get that done. And we'll go ahead and colonize this small arid planet. It's irradiated, which oh, blows like crazy. Wow. Am I spelling irradiated wrong? Probably. Irradiated. Maybe not. How do I get rid of this? Radiated. Damn it! Is there really no protection against irradiated? Yeah. Alright, well, I don't know, we'll still colonize it. We'll pick up those mushrooms. Gives us a little bit more approval. And it, it'll help cancel out the irradiated, actually. Irradiated is minus 20 approval, this is plus 10. And gives global approval in our empire. I guess we'll get our people hooked on mushrooms. That sounds like a good idea. Overall, actually, overall, we're not terribly happy. Uh, I guess we could screw with the tax rate. We won't make any more money. I feel like keeping the overall approval slightly above 50% seems like a good idea. I don't have any reason to, to think that, but it just, it sounds good, so I'm going to go for it. Oh, it's a dead end. With lots of flurs. Ooh! Lots of happiness, too, and XP bonuses. What do we have going on here? And yeah, I do say flurs. Cyberflora, that sounds like my kind of plant. Molten Core, I remember that raid. Did you guys ever play World of Warcraft? It's a good game. Someone actually sent me a, a seven day Scroll of Resurrection recently. And I very nearly got hooked right back into the game. Like, it, World of Warcraft, like, one of the things of those games with MMOs is that the time you spend in them, not only is it fun, like all games are just fun, right? But the more time you spend in it, the better you get and the more you can do. Like there's an actual sort of real, I, I, I don't know, ratio of like you spend more time, you get more stuff. It's not just you spend time in it and you enjoy the game play, but there's actually a, de a development. And uh, it's very addictive. Friendly locals over here, too. Yeah, we're going to want to colonize this system. So we're going to need more factory ships. But we're, we're busy. We're building them. I 
All right, I'm going to come and fill in the, ga the gaps here. It's kind of an awkward way around, but it'll be okay. Next turn. Yeah, I, um, I never played EVE. Well, I played the demo. I never played EVE for real. And I know that it would be really good for me, but it takes, it's such a huge time investment. And it just hit me at the time of life where I couldn't really ever get into it. Um, just, I've tried it multiple times and every time it was like, no, I, I can't, I can't. But I think it would be really good. There's like this huge war going on Eve right now, or maybe it ended, I don't know. But a few days ago I was reading about it. It was like 50,000 people all like fighting in one system or something ridiculous like that. People using these big Titan class ships where like literally they're worth in real dollars, they're worth like $25,000 each or something ridiculous like that. Like, th th that, wah! Wah! Alright, we picked up Xenology. Ah, so we have, we've identified some more things, okay. So yeah, we should actually pick up more of these, uh, these unlocky things. We got a poor deposit. Yeah, right. Yeah, I guess some of the things we already knew, obviously, but I think it might... I think there's ways to maybe unlock stuff on new systems. Anyway, move the scout around. And let's check my empire. Everyone's building something, right? Yeah. Hero status? It's just the two from before, but you know what? I should probably hire the administrator. Although then I'm going to be losing money. Right now I'm breaking even. Never mind. I... I don't want that. I want to keep my 54 dust for now. Attitude change event. Oh, they're now friendly. Wonderful. People are asking in chat how something like, you know, virtual, like a ship in EVE could be worth something. But it all comes down, a lot of it just comes down to time, right? Um, the reason that in EVE you can translate to real dollars is because in EVE, EVE has a currency in game called ISK, you know, like gold coins or whatever. And you can pay for game time using in-game currency. So you can literally play EVE for free as long as you're good enough at making money. But it also means there's a direct mapping of ISK to real world dollars. And in fact, I believe the company behind it is totally okay with people trading real money for ISK. And and the game revolves around lots of player versus player stuff, lots of industries and corporations and, uh, and these huge schemes and scams and like piracy is a real thing. And you're like, at this point, you're literally taking something that is equivalent real world dollars. Um, and if you were to happen to like, you know, hit someone with a Titan, and because it's a cost of time, like the amount of resources you need to produce one of these huge ships takes an incredible amount of effective time to generate. Um, that's why it has a real world currency in, in another sense. Um, you know, it's just like Diablo 2 or Diablo 3, the, they've got the auction house, right? Well, why are people paying for items? Because they can be like, well, I can either farm for five hours or I can just buy it outright. Whether that's a good thing for Diablo 3 is kind of sketchy because part of Part of what made Diablo 2 so good is that sort of grinding and addictiveness. When you take that away, what's left of Diablo? Just sort of like clicking? I'm not sure. Um, but um, but yeah, so that, that's why in EVE, it, it, these things have real value, but you can also attack each other, and you can scam each other, and you can do all these things, and it's all kind of legal within the context of the game. That's just sort of the reality of it. And people have made huge corporations and empires, and oh, it's amazing to read about. Wow. Demon Act, you actually sold an actual ring for real money. And that's the thing. Like, in Diablo, I, I, I don't know. To me, I, I think I might lose enjoyment of Diablo if I were to ever participate in a real money auction house. Not that I've played Diablo in ages. I just couldn't. I don't have the time. I had to force myself to stop playing Diablo. Um, kind of like how I had to force myself not to pick up WoW again. Ooh, lots of productions done. Q Prime. Uh, yeah, I think we need some money production. I mean, we need to colonize more. I guess at this point, like, do you colonize first or build this first? Actually, this will operate at a loss until I have a second planet, and then it'll break even. Um, yeah. So that's no good. Does it even produce money on Arctic planets? It doesn't. 
Apparently, apparently tourism is not popular in Arctic planets, so that's no good. So I could go for the science thing, but again, I think we need to expand first. You know what? Let's just keep. Let's build another factory ship here. That's fine. And over here, yeah, we've just colonized our arid planet, and this wasn't like this before. This didn't have the tundra bonus, did it? We must have researched something. Still, I'm going to build the colonial exchange on the arid planet because it maps nicely there. And then we'll see what we want to build there next. Yeah, I'm sure it didn't used to have the plus one production on Tundra. I might be crazy. No, it's definitely better than it used to be. It's definitely been improved. Oh, okay, cool. Um, you know what? We're going to put that before the factory ship at this point. Alright, so everyone's building something. Oh, the heavy isotope refineries, which we forgot to buy. Let's go ahead and rush that. Okay. Because that's pretty important. Dismiss those. My ship's still moving around somewhere. That's good. And next turn. Q Gamma finished that, right? Because we rushed it. Of course we did. This is an ocean planet. So it still doesn't have a bonus yet. Soon it'll probably. Tourism. Do desert planets get a bonus? No, they don't. So again, the tourism thing really won't make much sense here. Let's build another factory ship here. Our only neighbor is friendly, so we can afford to do that. We actually, right, we have our factory ship here. So we want to create a fleet with it. And then the question becomes, where do we colonize? Lores is a definite possibility. It was a very, very good system with a lot of great stuff. Um, but it's less likely to be competed against. Xanados actually is at the choke point of the wormholes. Also, these guys are kind of going in that direction, so it might be a good thing to grab. Yeah, that would be really quite good. The only problem, it's possible we could get cut off from Xanados if he colonizes Ingress. You know what? I think it's worthwhile. I'm going to go for Xanados. Slow-ass moving ship. And we're actually four turns away from being able to colonize barren planets, which is good, and get all the gems online. Um, which we need for the Void Stones. Okay, that's good. I like it. Yeah, some people are saying don't overextend, but that's kind of my thing. I overextend like crazy. I wonder if we should turn around and start building a military. Instead. And just go for conquest. Another level up. We'll take director three. Right, so you've queued up a factory ship. You know, we could cancel this. Um, defenders are still the best thing we have, and we don't have more tech for it. We're three turns from completing containment fields, and then we can start going up some other route. Could pick up, yeah, we could pick up the destroyer class, which means bigger ships, and then go up and get some better weaponry of some kind. Like the alternative armor. So, you know what? Actually, I'm going to go ahead. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and finish that one factory ship. Because I don't have the techs yet. I'll finish the one more, and then after that, we'll start building the military destroyers. And then we'll go and take out the pilgrims. And I'm going to eat some chocolate. Yeah, this is the next evolution. After the Quillians from Civ 5, you know, abandoned sort of the, calling themselves the Byzantine Empire, they gave up their fleshy bodies, they became Quillbots. And that's what we are now. 
Oh, they're demanding some titanium? I don't think so, buddy. That's not how it's done. Colonize the third planet? Probably. And then it becomes worthwhile building some of these extra things. Sure, let's do that. Yeah, we nuked Russia into the ground. Didn't you know that? I actually have another episode of Civ already recorded. I meant to upload it this morning. But you guys will have to wait to see what actually happened. Uh-oh. Pirate ship. Um, I just want to run away. This will do a manual combat. Look at his strength. Way, way, way higher than me over in Rigel. It's not good. Mmm. I mean, you guys aren't going to be able to see it on the screen because it's too small. Oh, no, you can. 90% cocoa chocolate. Mmm. So dark. So delicious. Alright, select an action. Oh, no! I was looking inside. Yeah, we're just going to do uh, repair every turn. Just try to tank it out. 